Liberty lives in the hearts of men. Once it dies there, no paper, no law, no constitution, no court can revive it. That's what's happening today in America. Liberty is dying in the hearts of men. We have 235 years, 30 something years of of uh, time since the, since our the foundation of this country, right? In the course of 200 years or actually less even, I mean if you really want to trace it back to when we started losing our liberties, it didn't take long for us to do that and the problem today is that we have, we've lost, most men have lost that desire for liberty. They've lost it and it's not in their heart anymore. And you see the, what are, what, what do the people want? What do, what do most of the people want around you? when you look around. They want their their Medicare. They want their Social Security. They want all of these programs that have been put into place by the federal government that are illegal. Illegal. They're not allowed to, to um, um, put these programs in place. Yet they ignore our Constitution. They ignore the limits on their office and they they place these laws anyway. So the question is, you know, how long are you, will you continue to allow this before you do something about it? Because, you know, if you're not part of the solution, well then you're part of the problem. Uh, okay, because if you're, if you're just indifferent on the matter, then you're not, you're not helping anything. You're part of the problem. Your indifference is, is, is just, is to be honest, close to treasonous. Um, I mean, those who, are, who actively work against liberty, honestly, are, are traitors to this nation. Traitors to liberty and, and traitors to the, America, to the American ideal. So, uh, I mean... I'd like to, I would just, you know, what I want to say is that, that we are, we need to revive a love of liberty, a love of freedom into people's hearts and, and for them to realize how important it is. It's not just, it's not just something that we've lost and, and stuff, it's, it's that we are actually wearing chains. We, I mean, not literally wearing chains, but we figuratively wear chains, and you know, financially we're chained. Um, but we we're literally slaves to the banks and to the government. It's in different ways, but you know, we don't live as free men anymore in this country, and it makes me wonder how much more will you tolerate before so you, you say, say, "How can I?" How can I, what can I do? I'm just one man, Haas. Well, I don't know who you are, so I can't tell you what you can do. But I can tell you that we all are sovereign men and women of this country, and we all can do something. There's all, all of us can contribute in one way or another to solving this issue to 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 return to a love of freedom and liberty um, I can't tell you exactly how you can do it only you can do that but it can be done. but I can tell you right now that if we don't do the right thing and we don't vote for the right people and we don't start working harder at at uh, at creating um, a situation that that where we are working more towards to 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 restore um, our constitutional liberties, then <clears throat> the time um, where we vote with these 
will be coming to an end. And I'd like to say that I'd like to remind you all that we still vote with one of these. So we need to continue to pursue that process until it's been exhausted because as lovers of liberty we should be um, I think people that want to respect the, our, the processes that are set before us um, and those processes are, are outlined in, in our document. The next few months and years are critical um, as to the fate of our nation and in that, in those months and years that are, that are coming up, there's a lot of decisions that we're going to have to make involving um, different uh, political processes and that our leaders will be making that are very important that you are involved in those processes as much as possible. And we should always, as uh, sovereigns of the republic, be participating in in politics, but these next few years are particularly important. We need to change our mindsets um, from being uh, the kind of passive, uh, you know, just sit down and, and kind of watch and see what happens and vote whenever it comes up type of thing. Those times are over. You need to change, you need to, you know, we were, we were that's been ingrained in us um, from our parents and from their parents, and it came from a time when we actually could, um, when we could trust our leaders more and uh, to be honest we really can't trust them uh, most of them and there's there's very few that are trustworthy and we need to be on top of that at all times and so I'd like to see uh, more of you um, out and participating and encouraging others to participate with you in different things and and uh, you know whatever you can whatever you can do so I mean, whatever is put in front of you, um, you know, you need to get involved in it. So, like, I mean, I got involved with a group of people that are, uh, you know, petitioning and, and trying hard to end corporate personhood. I think that's a, a, a worthwhile use of my time. You know, it's not it's not uh, the only thing that I think is wrong, but it's one of the one of the major things. So, uh, you know, if you can get involved in something like that, look at that. If you you know can get involved with something else then get involved in that. Work at it. You know, put your time and effort into it because I think that some things are worth saving and our nation is one of them and you need to be part of the solution. Uh, if not, you're, you're not a true American. So, thanks for watching guys.